seems a good time to catch up with Lord Grimthorpe, who of course is racing manager to Khalid Abdullah, and Frankel of course goes in the JLT Lock and Stakes on Saturday. But it's also, Teddy, the first race day of your tenure as, as chairman of your race course. All going okay so far? So far, so far. I mean, the ground ran more just so the ground was perfect, so how lucky are we for that? And um, really, we've got a lovely crowd. We've got some fantastic racing lined up, so it's very exciting. And I guess as a, as a Yorkshireman, the chairmanship of, of the Knaves Mine must be one of the greatest honours that can possibly be bestowed on a, a keen racing man. <laughs> There's no greater. There's no greater now. I'm very privileged. And when were you asked? <laughs> um, and Nicholas Wrigley asked me um, last, um, sort of in the spring of last year, I think. Uh, I don't suppose it took you too long to accept the invitation. Well, well I, as long as I, I had to make sure that Prince Khaled was happy, and, and he very kindly said um, he said I could, and, and so um, no, it's, it's a huge honour. And of course he loves this place better than most anybody else. Of course his support of the Judmont International has been long-standing now and I guess if all goes to plan, the great horse will be here in August. I, I very much hope so. I think we all hope that. Um, really, it'd be fantastic to bring him to the Knavesmar. Um, he's in great shape. Um, obviously he starts off on Saturday at Newbury um, and we hopefully he'll progress through the year. And of all the tracks you could design for a long striding horse like him, it, it, it's just about this one. You must have dreamt many times of him opening out up the straight here <laughs> at the entrance of the home turn, haven't you? Um, oh, well, I think and dream of Frank almost <laughs> ridiculously. On an almost unhealthy basis. On a very, think. very unhealthy basis. So uh, the various scenarios he's been through in my mind uh, um, really are, um, are quite spectacular. But um, he, we, we, we are really looking forward to him this year. And, um, I, I think that I, I think the interest in him has been, just been overwhelming. It's been just fantastic. All frivolity aside, I, I got the sense that Henry was much happier with the, with the second of those important bits of racecourse work than he was with the first one. When he said to us on Racing UK, "I wish I'd told the jockeys to go a bit faster." Yes, I, I think I think that was two things, and he certainly wanted to get a good good work into him, and. Um, his, the, the, again, the, the deceptive thing about Frankel is his stride. Is is it's not necessarily. It's just how he um, moves and how he does it. He does it so easily, and he, once he gets into that good long stride pattern, um, that's what Henry really wanted to see him sort of using. And uh, he did that. He did that. He did that pretty much the first time. But uh, he, he certainly had. A good course to do it again as well. How excited are you by the possibility of perhaps a celebration answer you think bowling up? <laughs> they're two they're two wonderful horses and um, the, there's no you it is like for group one racing you have to bring your A game. There's no you can't say oh well I'm not quite hundred percent. It's like in, uh, anything in sports you either bring your best or you don't bother at all and so we will need to bring our best to beat both of those and Aidan O'Brien's been talking a lot recently about the need to fully test or to test as fully as you possibly can the top class race course for the sake of the future of the sport and I guess you would concur with that yeah I, I think there's no no doubt about it we don't want him to be tested too much <laughs> uh, but it, uh, the, I, I think the 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 breeders and the breeding program demand it now. I think the days of horses going off to start pretty quickly or prematurely have probably gone. And, and people like to see horses properly tested. And that means that, you know, sometimes they're going to get beaten and sometimes, you know, if they're good enough, they'll come back and show them, show everyone what good horses they are. And that's the, the part of the sort of thrill of it. And a mark of the great trainers are the ones that are never afraid of defeat. I think so. I, I think, and they are they 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 want to put the they're putting their reputation on the line with the horses. So it it is it's it's big for them, and they don't want to send them into battle undercooked. A filly who won't get the sort of headlines that Frankel will get is is timepiece, but she's a Group One winner for you, and she goes in, in tomorrow's Middleton. Yeah. Are you getting the right sort of uh, messages about her? Yeah, I mean she she worked the other morning, and she was much. She seems to be much more relaxed. Um, she was a bit rusty at Newmarket, and. Uh, and she's always taken a while to sort of get into sort of full gear. So hopefully we'll see the best of her tomorrow. But she's certainly still progressing. Teddy, thanks for talking to us. Best of luck this week. Not at all. Thanks. Cheers.